Hi coaches, Jeff here with USA Volleyball. I'm here to talk to you today about everybody's favorite topic, stats. More specifically, how to calculate a couple key metrics within each of the four categories of passing stats, serving stats, attacking stats, and side out stats. Let's get started. The two main passing stats that I want to talk about today are A, our good pass or in system percentage, and B, our passing average, which is just a weighted scale. Your good passer in system percentage is really just the combination of all of your good and perfect passes divided by your total reception attempts. What this metric tells us is what percent of the time are we able to execute all of our offensive options on this particular play. Now, for your passer average, we're gonna make the assumption that you are using a four point scale to rate your passes, meaning that you have perfect passes, good passes, medium passes, poor passes, and of course there's overpasses as well. Now to calculate, you'll take your total number of perfect passes multiplied by four, add them to your total number of good passes multiplied by three, which are added to your total number of medium passes multiplied by two, plus your total number of poor passes added to your total number of overpasses multiplied by 0.5. This total is now divided by your total reception attempts. The end result should give you a number somewhere between zero and four. What this stat gives us is a little bit more context into the overall total quality of pass attempts for an individual passer or your team overall. Now, if you're using a three point scale to rate your passing, you just remove the perfect passes from this equation. Now moving on to serving stats, there are two main metrics that I'd like to talk about. A, our opponent out of system percentage, and B, our server average, which is another weighted scale. Our opponent out of system percentage is really just the percent of time that our opponents are receiving medium, bad, or overpassing our serving attempts. This can be calculated for both individual servers as well as your team overall. To make this calculation, you're just going to add all of your opponent's medium, bad, and overpasses divided by their total reception attempts. Now, if you're trying to calculate this for an individual server, you're just going to take all the medium, bad, and overpass reception attempts, which immediately followed that specific server's attempt. This is then divided by all total opponent reception attempts off of that specific server. Now, moving on to our server average, this again is making the assumption that you are using a four point passing scale. You might notice that this formula can also be taken as just the inverse of our passer average. What we'll do is we'll take our total number of aces multiplied by four, the total number of serving attempts that result in an opponent overpass multiplied by 3.5, added to the total number of serving attempts that result in an opponent bad pass multiplied by three, added to opponent medium pass attempts multiplied by two, added to opponent good pass attempts multiplied by one, added to our opponent perfect passes multiplied by 0.5. From this, we'll also subtract all of our service errors. Once that is done, you'll divide that by our total service attempts. This again will give you a number somewhere between zero and four. Next, we'll talk about a couple of attacking stats. Firstly, your basic kill percentage. And secondly, your attack efficiency. Your kill percentage is literally just your kills divided by your total attack attempts. Why is this important? Well, the name of the game is scoring points, so I'd like to see how our team is doing overall, as well as how terminal some of our individual attackers really are. Now our attack efficiency, which is what you generally see in an NCAA box score, is simply calculated by taking your total number of kills, and subtracting any attack attempts that resulted in a block or an error. This total is then divided by your total attack attempts. As we move on to talking about side out stats, 
we want to talk about three different types of siding out. Firstly, your general side out percentage. Secondly, your earned side out percentage. And thirdly, your first ball side out percentage. Your side out percentage is calculated by taking your total number of successful side outs divided by your total number of side out attempts. This, of course, still takes into account all of your opponent service errors. We can also look at siding out in situations where we earn the point, meaning we are excluding any service errors by our opponent. To calculate this, you take your total number of successful side outs after receiving the ball, divided by your total number of reception attempts. Lastly, to calculate your first ball side out percentage, you're taking your total number of first ball kills divided by your total reception attempts. I hope you found this information useful and keep an eye out as USA Volleyball will continue to produce more content for coaches over the coming weeks and months. Thank you, and as always, Go USA!